All right, everybody, welcome back. My name is LC, and today we're here with another DC Heroes and Villains video. Today we are covering the new update pertaining the two uh, or a couple of characters that have just been dropped in the game update. Oh, okay, it's it's not it's not a but it is kind of a big update. I'm not gonna lie, but again, we're just covering the characters for today, just for now. And we'll also be doing a summon at the end of the video because this will be a guaranteed five star character that we'll be getting, but we don't know who it is. So stay tuned for that. As always, I want to thank all of you guys for watching, stopping by. Whether you're old or new viewers or subscriber, I appreciate it all the same. The first of the day is on the screen. Hope you guys can use this verse to apply it to your daily lives as well as inspire others around the world as well. So with that being said, let's go. So first off, we have five star. Dina Drake, or Dina Drake, everyone pronounce it, or better known as Black Canary. She is an amplifier character, her passive being at the start of battle, and each time, time, yeah. Her passive being Wall of Sound. At the start of battle, and each time Black Canary performs a power move, grant a critical up buff and attack up buff, and all allies for 8 turns, immune to accuracy down debuffs. So that's just all max salt stats, by the way. It's not her starting stats, her starting stats is 3. Uh, three attack buffs and critical buffs for, uh, for for three turns. So once you get her up to like the max level, I guess max level five, or you know what I mean, um, max level passive five, level five, then it'll be at eight. Now for her power move, wake up call, attack all enemies one hit, damage multiplier sixty eight percent. This attack cannot be blocked or dodged. Reduce target's power damage by twenty. That is actually really effective. I think we need more units with like power drain or like reducing the gauge. A little bit um i think okay this that is my it is like max stats by the way so there is that but like it's still pretty it's it's still pretty important because like i don't think a lot, a lot of units kind of have like a power draining effect you know what i mean but um it is pretty cool that she's able to have it imagine they had like instead of like it's just me but um First off, before I even say that, I'm, I like that she's able to you know, like reduce her power gauge by 20 while also filling up her opponent's power gauge by 20% too. Like, that's pretty cool. Um, but like, imagine if like, because I know like, again with her, with... I know with um, Black Canary that, you know, she has like her sonic powers, I guess if you want to call it that. But like, they kind of do cause like immobilizing effects. So like, what if... That make like another black canary unit that like this like what's the word that disengages but like basically immobilizes them to use their power gauge like their power gauge is like locked for a couple seconds or a couple moves or whatever um i think it'd be pretty cool because that kind of ties into like black canary's like actual ability to like to like immobilize the person that she's you know screaming at because like again their ears are like <laughs> their ears are basically cooked because like you know it's like a high frequency sound right um but yeah that's just me but honestly I do think she's a nice addition to the Birds of Prey tag, but now we also actually have another character added onto the Birds of Prey tag. So actually, we have five characters all together. Finally, that's part of the Birds of Prey tag, other than Bard, Big Barda, Catwoman, and uh, Huntress. And that next character is Manhunter. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I did know who Manhunter was, but like I didn't know like all about the history of Manhunter, right? But she is a, I believe, a disruptor character. Yes, yeah, she is. Uh, for her passive, vicious vigilante, vicious vicious vigilante. Why can I speak? I, I know I can speak. Every single time I read this game or like Mortal Kombat Online or something, I just can't pronounce words. I don't know why. It just does not work out well for me. Um, okay, so whatever Martian man. Oh, oh my gosh! No, I said Martian man. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever Manhunter dodges a power move, she has a 100% chance to receive critical up buff for 6 turns and also on counter attacks. That is her you know, max stats by the way, or max leveling up for her passive, but I do think that's important to note too. That's actually pretty cool. 100% chance to receive a critical up buff for 6 turns. And when you pair it up with Black Canary, and with her ability, she also gets critical up buffs too, and a pretty sure attack up buffs if I'm not mistaken. So I think that's really good. Like, again, for her anyway, again, this is a 4 star character, it's not like... Her kit has to be like game breaking, but I think for what it's worth, critical up buffs are always a good thing, right? Um, you can never really go wrong with that unless it's like handled this correctly. Um, attack goes. Wait, 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 before we get to that, Swift Judgment. Okay, attack a single enemy, damage multiplier 140%, inflict block down debuff on target for 5 turns. Okay, inflict defense down debuff on target for 5 turns. Interesting. Okay, so you see, in my opinion, I think defense down is like a heavily crucial thing when it comes to. Maybe not playing this game, but like, I think when it comes to like 
it's a unit overall. I don't think every unit should have them. I don't think that's the case. But, like, I think it's nice for them, too. You know what I mean? I think that them having defense down is, like, a nice surefire way to, like, solidify, like, your team, like, coming out on top. You know what I mean? Because you're, you're decreasing the defense. So, like, you can do more damage to the opposing team. Altogether, I think that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing, in my opinion. I think she's a really good red unit and a really good, like, I'm not saying she might be a. St I, I think yeah, she is a staple for Birds of Prey, right? Because again, she is on the tag, but um, I'm pretty sure she's a, she is the only red unit on Birds of Prey. So I think that will be. I think yeah, I think her being on there is honestly a good thing. Now the battle pass is out. I know I did say I was covering mainly mainly the characters, and I am. But I just want to you know, point out the battle pass is out. You can get a four star manhunter if you buy the battle pass. It's up to you. You can still technically get it for free when you summon on the battle pass. Um, you know, the battle pass is like summon, or you can wait till she comes into like the regular banners, or whatnot. Me personally, I do kind of wait for like them to come to the regular banners, or I kind of just do like the battle pass capsules. Which, to be fair, I'm sure if I actually like did the most of the missions, I'm sure I like, get like more summons from that. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I love, like, like the summons, right? I think they're really cool. But, ah, I don't know. Sometimes it's like, damn. Because, <laughs> like, I get shafted a lot, right? I haven't got a five-star in, like, a few months. Like, it, it's been a hot minute, right? So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I do think that, um... I do think that some of the summons are worth. I like the summons have improved. I will say that the summons have definitely improved. Um, it's just the method. Like from before, like you remember how you used to have to like pay, uh, not yeah, pay for like the five star guaranteed. Which again, it makes sense. But like that kind of thing should be like an anniversary or like a celebration type summon. You know what I mean? Like you pay this much. To get all these characters like i feel like because this was even we even have our first year anniversary into the game yet right so like that coming in like what i think it was maybe six six months into the game maybe more maybe less it was just like damn this is kind of a lot and it's not a bad thing it was like it's not a bad concept i just don't, i just think it was executed poorly but hey we move past that right now you can get those things technically for free um because if you do like some of the events right with the milestones um you can actually get a good portion of them each time so like i think that it's good to do um because you can get these five star characters guaranteed right and i'm pretty sure if you get like what 200 gets one five star character and you can like um you can save up on it and you know buy the each character or buy that buy uh get the character um uh, or summon for a character that you want basically um so yeah if you summon we well, not summon if you get two thousand of these then you get 10 five star I, like that's really good like i think like we didn't really talk about that a lot like when we covered it last time but like that's still like pretty good but anyway on to the summons now okay so we have 900 and <laughs> 916 gems i don't know how well this is going to turn out because i again shaft is literally in my name apparently like it's just it's not even lc my name's just shaft it's just shaft c you know <laughs> It's just king of shaft um i hope i can get like black canary just because like out of like i guess like out of i just like the character you know what i mean but what's that word called i guess oh man forget the name but like i just like the character overall but like i would a former birds of prey team if i had all the characters i absolutely would but i don't know there's a, there's a lot of five star characters i think that's the thing that gets me upset Whenever it's a five star character, they would give him like Starfire or someone already have. It's not really a bad thing, right? That's technically a good thing. Get more different kind of characters, more stronger they'll be. But, like, I want some new ones too. If I can get Superman, I'll be happy with that. If I can get uh, Batwoman, I'll be happy with that. Red Hood too. Um, the Harley Quinn? I don't know. The classic one, anyway. I don't really know about that one. Um, I already have Raven. King of Worm, you'd be okay, but I don't really run that team, though. Um, Greenland? I don't know. I don't know like it's i don't know we'll have to see um yeah here's hoping that we get black canary uh you know big barter hopefully actually jessica cruz too i would i would love for it to get as a uh, five star as well um so yeah my my list is black canary big barter 
Jessica Cruz, Green Lantern maybe, ish or Hal Jordan, um, Mira just for like her healing capabilities, um, Batwoman drowned, Red Hood, Superman, Slade. And what do I and Sears because I'm not gonna lay like or seriously whatever you want to pronounce it because she's been dodging me every single time and like it okay let's just let's just do this y'all let's do this okay this is the second last summon that's this is a three star it's fine Catwoman of course yeah. all right guys let's 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 do this thing let's just go back and let's go in okay let's do it let's do it I'm not looking at this guy I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at it who's it gonna be I think it was out there. Who was it? I mean, I'll take it. It's it's a new character, right? I'll take it. And like, if I ever wanted to, no, thank you. If I ever wanted to like make the Bat Family, then like, like like main the tag, then like I could. So I think that's it's not bad. I mean, I don't really. I have to see how she plays because I don't really. You know, I have to look back at her game because again, it, it has been a minute since. I like taking like DC was really seriously like on a competitive, not, like it's kind of competitive-ish scale, right? Um, but for the most part, I uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of I'm happy with it. I think um, now we need this Red Hooded Batwoman, and then the Bat Family team will be complete for now. Anyway, I'm sure they'll probably add more characters to to uh, the tag or the team uh, at a later point. But that basically wraps up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of this new update plus the characters coming in it in the comment section below as well. With that being said, my name is LC. Have an amazing day. God bless and I'll catch you all later.